two days after skating and I still feel freaking sore. Go for a cruise, get some sunlight. I actually didn't realize how much I needed this. Yo, I'm getting fresh air, sun, and a nice cool breeze. Bro, I already feel like 20 times better. I feel like I'm on a flying Nimbus. Her balaclava is starting to chafe. Yeah, sitting down is the move, yo. I just hope I don't fall. I'm not going. <laughs> I literally spoke that into existence, bro. My foot went through my entire side. She gets his skirt, his bag, and babe, stay, 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 stay. Good girl. not skating in this video. It's more just gonna be a board setup. I haven't done a board setup video for 2022. We're gonna get right into that. The board I'm currently using just got chipped at two block and the grip tape's getting a little dirty. Still good board though. It didn't crack or anything. She's using skateboards makes great boards. So I'll put this in the car, save it for later. Maybe I'll give it away to somebody in person at a skate park. Let's get right into it. Grip tape. You guys have been asking about the grip tape. What is this grip tape? Well, let me tell you, this is unreleased grip tape from Rika Yushi, Instagram on screen. And this is final Gohan. Beast form, whatever you wanna call it. It's Gohan's new power up in the new movie that's supposed to come out. Very nice. Can't wait to put it on the board and skate it. In my previous video, I had an unboxing for four decks from Houston Skateboards and you all said, the Texas deck, you should skate that next. So we're gonna skate that. This is an 825 and it's a red stain. I like the classic popsicle shape. We just got a standard unit tool right here. You can get these anywhere, but I'm gonna be using this to set up the board. These are Ha Hardware. Literally, I get them from Houston Skateboards. The top is painted white on this screw right here so I can identify quickly the nose or the tail of my board. I've had these wheels for a while, probably like a year, I wanna say. Yeah, I get these wheels from Houston Skateboards. They're 55 millimeter. These are independent hollows. See right here, that's a hole because it goes all the way through. And I've been skating these for two years now, actually. I got these in 2020. My trucks broke in California on my first trip out there, so I had to buy trucks. I don't know what size these are. I never really paid attention to size. They're just like standard. I didn't switch out the bushings or anything like that. Right here, it's hollow as well. Goodbye, these last a long time. I should have marked my trucks to see which one was the nose. Because I do a lot of crooks, I can quickly see the abrasions right here and know that this is the nose of my trucks. Now let's set it up. So I've been watching a lot of Jeremy's videos lately and he's been eating grapes and he said that grapes are an expungent so they kind of eat up all the toxins like in your body and so I immediately went out and bought some grapes. I've just been snacking on them bro. Cut that boy a check, bro. He's a real life influencer. Like, I literally dead ass the same day went out and bought grapes, bro. Putting me on game. Every time I skate stairs, usually the recovery process takes me like at least two days before I'm able to like skate again at like 100%. It's like I went to like muscle failure, literally. And no matter how much I eat or how many like fruits or like nourishing things that I put in my body, it doesn't feel like my body is like absorbing the nourishment. It feels like I'm like mineral deficient. You know what I mean? Cause there's no way that you can eat all this food and you still feel like shit. You gotta give your body time to like let the minerals absorb into your bloodstream and everything. Mm, for sure. I like how it came out. Could have done better right here on this side of the grip, but you know, first time I skate it, it'll even out. 